Knowing the stocking density of shrimp in a pond is necessary for management purposes. In ponds where supplemental feed is given, accurate shrimp population estimate is critical as the amount of feed provided is usually based on the estimated weight of shrimp in the pond. It has been observed that shrimps usually aggregate around the corners of a pond. To get a reliable shrimp population estimate, regular sampling and monitoring should be done. Weekly sampling is done until the shrimp reaches its marketable size. It is recommended to conduct sampling early in the morning or in the evening to lessen stress of the shrimp. Likewise, they should not be fed prior to sampling. Here are the things needed for sampling. Weighing scale, scoop net, pail, record pod, and calculator. For shrimp sampling, we need first to identify the sampling points. The size of the pond where the shrimp aggregates is the best sampling point. Using a scoop net, get several samples. It is better to take several samples instead of one large sample. Taking large samples is stressful to the shrimp and may result in significant mortalities. Preferably, 50 to 100 individual shrimp samples is enough, but you could go beyond if the stocking density is high. To get the average weight, place all the shrimp in a bucket containing water. The bucket with water is weighed before shrimps are added. Get the shrimps out of the bucket and count individually. And of course, don't forget to record all the data gathered. From the data obtained, we can calculate the average body weight or ABW and the average daily weight gain or ADWG. To compute for ABW, we need to calculate first the total weight of shrimp using the formula. Total weight of shrimp equals final weight minus initial weight, where the initial weight is the weight of pail with water and the final weight is the weight of pail with water and shrimp. For example, the initial weight is 500 grams and the final weight is 2000 grams. Getting the difference between the two, we get 1500 grams. Now that we have the total weight of the shrimp, we can now compute for the ABW using the formula average body weight is equal to the total weight of shrimp in grams divided by the number of shrimp. For example, we have the total weight of shrimp which is 1,500 grams divided by the total number of shrimp sample which is 75. We get an ABW of 20 grams. After we get the ABW, we can now compute for the average daily weight gain using the formula ADWG is equal to the present ABW minus previous ABW divided by the number of days. Where the present weight of shrimp is the ABW of present sampling, the previous weight of shrimp is the ABW of previous sampling, and the number of days is the number of days between the present and the previous sampling. For instance, we have present weight of shrimp is 18 grams minus previous weight of shrimp which is 16 grams divided by 7 days interval between sampling. We get an ADWG of 0.29 grams per day.